Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm the other half of Brackenrack's Barbecue. What we're doing today is I'm going to make my Bloody Mary mix. It's a mix that I won uh, first place in a competition a couple years ago. It's a real nice, thick uh, Bloody Mary. It's not runny, uh, which I like. I don't like that runny, soupy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and teach you how to make my Bloody Mary. I call it my championship Bloody Mary no real name <laughs> so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a recipe that involves the pitcher and then I'm going to do an individual serving so first of all what we want to uh, do is start with our glasses um, the glass I just use a pint size glass the rim does not uh, when you put seasoning on it does not stick I've tried the plastic cups especially at competitions and everything it just doesn't stick it runs down the side so what I do is I do my Bloody Marys and margaritas in my glasses. So what we do, um, I'm going to use some lime juice today out of the jar. Uh, the limes recently have been really small and it would have taken forever to, to squeeze enough to do this. So we're going to go ahead and use some lime juice. But what I do is I take my glass and I just swish it into the lime juice. I then let it drip. Um, you don't want it to run especially in competition when you're doing a competition um, turn in you don't want anything running down your side so I let it drip a little bit it's still wet so now what I'm going to do is a barbecue seasoning it's called Cosmo everybody in the barbecue community uh, uses it and I'm going to use Dirty Bird they've got three different uh, seasonings in that uh, category and it just gets hotter so the Dirty Bird's just got a little kick to it hot a little more heat and then you got your sriracha so my husband eats that one and i don't <laughs> so again i'm gonna dip drip and then we're just gonna roll our glass or pop it here into the seasoning um, i usually have one of those little bar serving things but i didn't want to clean up a lot of dishes today so shake a little bit and then we've got our nice rim so really nice no drippage it's not run down the side so let's do our second one so that we can be ready for the single serving recipe okay i let those dry let's go with the pitcher the pitcher we've got um i got a pitcher here what we're going to do is my favorite seasoning that I use for my Bloody Mary is Traeger Smoked Bloody Mary Mix. Um, it's a mix that you buy, barbecue teams know it. It's a competition, um, I don't know how to say it. They, they run, they make grills, they make equipment, they do seasonings, they do all kinds of stuff. So it's well known nationally and it's thick. It's nice and thick. It's already got the seasoning in it. You don't have to do anything else to it. So what I've got is I've got a cup of the Traeger Smoked Bloody Mary. So we're gonna put that in. We're gonna put one cup of our vodka. I usually suggest top shelf. When you get into the cheaper stuff, um, it doesn't taste as well, it has an alcohol type taste to it. Vodka should not smell. You shouldn't smell it. So spend a little money on your Bloody Mary. Then I've got what we call Clamato. It's got a fish the fish, selfish taste to it. I do use it for competition. I don't like too much of the fishy taste, but I do enough in it to add a little taste to it. You can also adjust this um, to what your preferences are as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put the Clamato in. And then I just use basic um, tomato juice. Sometimes I use the V8 to get a little vegetable taste, but sometimes you're starting to get too much flavor. Um, so I cut it with some tomato juice to sort of blend that all together. Now in our pitcher, we're going to stir this. Gonna move our dishes out of the way so we can serve this up. So we're going to mix that up. We're going to take our glass and we're going to put it over ice. We want our Bloody Mary on ice. So... I do about half to three-fourths. It just depends ooh, how, how much you want. Then we're going to go ahead and pour it 
just uh, don't, if you're like me, I can't walk with cups, so I don't do it all the way to the top. Okay, I have lime here. Uh, I cut it in about a half an inch and put a little slice in it so it fits nicely on the glass. And then we've got a large cooked clean shrimp. Oops, let's do it the other way. Heavy side in on the ice cubes. So there we go. We got our, our bloody mary. Now on the single serving, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight to our glass, our serving glass. And again, we're gonna put our ice in first. Again, half a cup, three fourths of a cup, depending on how frosty you want your bloody mary. Get water all over my counter as we do this. Um, on this, um, I sort of do, especially on a Sunday, I do what I call a heavy pour. Um, when I do uh, drinks, I do, I've got a shot glass that's three ounce, I've got a shot glass that's two ounce, and then I have one that's one ounce. So I know I'm, I'm a recipe cook, I don't wing it, I don't just throw things together. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a heavy pour Bloody Mary. So I'm gonna do three ounces of vodka, and that, we're gonna do some spice, and on my uh, Bloody Mary uh, mix, we're gonna do two ounce. You can always adjust that to one ounce or to three ounces. The, again, this is a single serving, just depending on preference of taste and how spicy. This is where your spice is coming from, is the, the Bloody Mary mix. Then, uh, because I'm not too much of a fishy person, I'm gonna do three ounces of Clamato, just add a little to it, and then I'm going to top it off with tomato juice. Again, I don't over pour, <laughs> then we go ahead and mix, we got our lime again to decorate the glass. And then our jumbo shrimp. Sometimes I'll decorate it with bacon. Um, what you do in competition is you do these wild, outrageous garnishes as part of the scoring. We're not gonna do that today. Um, also, to you barbecue teams, I'm not giving you my secret. Um, this is a version of my champion, uh, Bloody Mary. Uh, many people know us teams don't give out our secrets, but this is close enough, it's really good. It's got a nice thickness to it, and it's got a little heat to it, not too much. Oh, that's got a nice little peppery. Um, you can see the seasoning in the glass. Um, it's really nice, really nice one. So, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you like following recipes, follow a barbecue team. We're going to do some vlogs as well to follow us on what we do as a competition team and competitions that we attend. So all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you here next time.